audience, are you ready? <laughs> Who's got the number one talk show in Vegas? Who's gonna leave it out there on the set tonight? Who's gonna have a lot of fun doing it? We We're probably using the Philippines on three, one, two, three. We're probably huge in the Philippines. <laughs> tonight, live from the Inspire Theater, on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, your co-host, Jeremy Martin, Sonia Tella, music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, nightlife guru, Jordan Thayer. From Unity Travel, Josh Payne. Music by We Are Pancakes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Let's give it up for the man who thinks EDM stands for Erectile Dysfunction Management, Mr. Jeremy Martin. Oh! Hey, yeah. Love, Alfonso! Cut it, thank you. DJ Lenny Love, as always. How you feeling with all these other DJs in town, Lenny? Feeling good, I'm feeling That's right, good. he's feeling real good. Real good. Welcome to our EDC-themed Downtown Podcast. How are we feeling tonight, crowd? Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. My name is Jeremy Martin. Uh, normally, we have a great comedian, Jason Outlaw, here. Uh, last minute, he needed me to fill in, so I appreciate you guys having me. Uh, I say that because we kind of wrote some jokes together last minute. All the ones that you will love and laugh hysterically are mine. All the rest are his. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. A college student in Cleveland, Ohio. Claims to have seen a shiny, unidentified flying object in the sky. It turned out to be an NBA championship trophy. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know what it was. She may never. New Star Trek themed money is now legal tender in Canada. There is one particular transaction that is not expected to be affected by this new currency. A guy paying for a date. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds! Just kidding. I love alienating audience members who love things like Star Trek. Uh, Japan's new naked restaurant has banned overweight diners. Yeah, that's right. And they also will no longer be serving cottage cheese. <laughs> uh, new research shows that babies actually decide uh, if they like people or not based on their attractiveness. Some of you may have experienced this. Now you're going to be like so just so insecure when you meet a baby. Uh, but a lot of people believe that this means no babies will be voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> or Hillary or Bernie or there's maybe, maybe Trump's wife, right? Maybe Trump's wife. Uh, Citigroup has trademarked the term thank you and has, yeah. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, and they've actually filed a lawsuit against AT&T for thanking their customers. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Hillary Clinton has followed suit and uh, trademarked the term feel the burn so she never has to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just won't quit. All right. This is our EDC themed downtown podcast. And you're probably looking at me thinking, Jeremy, you're not very EDC themed in your dress, right? That's a very specific kind of dress. And I understand, EDC, ED is not really my scene, but for tonight, I am a team player. So I reached deep into my wardrobe. And DJ Lenny, can you hand me my outfit for these last two EDC themed jokes? Thank you. didn't fit anywhere else. That was it. <laughs> I was going to go over my head. No. Uh, all right. EDC is in town this weekend, and it is a big deal here in Las Vegas. Am I right, guys? Yes. Big deal. That's right. Some of the hottest acts in EDM will be here in Las Vegas, spending hours pushing play. Ne <laughs> next. Sync. Play. It's a shame. Yeah. yeah. If the DJ doesn't throw anything at me, I think I'm okay, right? 
He actually helped me with that joke. <laughs> EDC goers will be surprised because McAaron Airport is actually going to have DJs spinning in the airport as travelers come in this weekend. That's right, pretty great. But it is the airport, so it'll probably suck and confuse the TSA. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we are super excited about our EDC themed downtown podcast tonight. We're super excited that you're here. DJ Lenny, take it away. Up next, our community interview with Sonia Teo. <laughs> You in the Philippines, you know our motto, we're probably huge in the Philippines. We have an experiment to test this out. Do you watch the Downtown Podcast to learn English? If so, that's great, and we wanna help you learn English. We're gonna help you learn how to speak like a real Las Vegas American comic. This week's lesson is how to tell jokes about Donald Trump sounding like Jason Outlaw, our very own Las Vegas American comic. Let's check it out. Um, Hillary Clinton replied to a negative tweet from Donald Trump. That's right, saying uh, Trump should delete his account. That's right, because no one knows how to delete things off the internet better than Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you hit the button, you hit the button. <laughs> okay now, practice this joke, and sounding like Jason Outlaw, you'll amaze your friends and probably Jason's mom. Record your clip imitating Jason Outlaw's joke. Send it to us at how to speak English at downtownpodcast.tv and you might win a chance to appear on the Downtown Podcast TV show. Yeah, that's right. Help us make content and we'll put you on TV. Email us at how to speak English at downtownpodcast.tv. segment is our community segment and it is fueled by EDC. So my guest is Jordan Thayer. Will you come on out? Yeah. Hi. 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 How are you? Very good, very good. Thank you. So you are a nightlife promoter with the underground culture. Yes. Um, explain a little bit what that means. So basically what I do is promote fun and love and have a great time and be able to spread that and share it with everybody, as many people as possible. <laughs> so how long have you been in this industry? The industry, it's coming up on six years. Um, the underground community, it's about two. Okay. And why did you choose to be a promoter of love oh it chose me <laughs> it chose sure. you <laughs> for sure so you Doing brought a couple exactly of friends correct yes i did and right. they have they have a volunteer with that we do we have a go-go audition <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, EDC week. Yes. Yes. And so there's a it. lot of craziness going on all over the strip, out in the boonies. And so tell me a little bit about your role with EDC. Well, luckily, with all the people that EDC brings in, our community can thrive this week. Everybody is throwing a party, and everybody is having a really good time. And it is it maintains our community and it maintains our community's small economy as well. Um, everybody is being able to express themselves in their dancing, in their DJing, in their art. Um, 
there's a lot of merchandise going around and it reminds the community of what's going on and what's fun and the aspect of keeping it together and alive, for That's sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, <laughs> you work with Insomniacs, correct? I do, yes. And so, will you explain to everybody who they are. Absolutely. I know who they are because of Life is Beautiful last year. They okay. had their own little yes, dome out there. Will you explain to them who they are? Yes, um, Insomniac is a company that started off just like us, just like you guys. Um, you know, with the flyer and the phone number that you called 20 years ago. And they have done so well that they can now incorporate, you know, people like myself and my community and be an offer you know, it's a job and an opportunity to uh, work with something just as wonderful as we all, you know, aim to be. And I've been working with Insomniac. This is year six. Um, and yes, and I've run logistics. I help out with all of the transportation from hotels. Uh, we have five locations on the Strip and one downtown. We move about 100,000 kids. Wow, that's a lot. And I, you know, I started as a sign holder uh, for this company, and now I'm, you know, lead of one of our properties. And you know, we work hand in hand the entire year. We have EDC meetings once a month, uh, and it's beautiful. It really is. That's awesome. I'm very blessed to have yes. that opportunity. <laughs> Because Dylan really wanted me to ask this question, and a few Please. of you might want to know, but where are tryouts for dancers <laughs> for EDC? Yes, <laughs> so they are everywhere, and I've sent a couple of our local ladies here actually down to LA, where the Insomniac kind of headquarters is, um, or is for that season. And most of tryouts in the GoGo community revolve around community events. In Las Vegas, First Friday is a really big uh, community aspect that the girls have come out and shown throughout the years, you know, what they can do. Um, a lot of go-go coordinators or entrepreneurs, per se, will visit these girls in different locations and clubs or in underground venues or locations, parties that we throw as well. So it's everywhere. It really so is. Because I've never gone to EDC, they gave me You'll some fit right stuff. In. So Please. I'm just like putting this on. I have no idea where any of this stuff is. It goes right there. I'm just assuming it's oh, this. No. Yes, it's perfect. I absolutely. <laughs> I think it's great. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you. And we're I looking forward to this weekend. Yay! You guys all have a great week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh man. Thank you. You can feel the energy. I'm ready. One day away from EDC. Uh, our next guest is a local Las Vegasan, and he created a company called Unity Travel. Now, three years ago, he decided to bootstrap this company, and we all know how hard it is to even get a company to work when you have funding, but without funding, he is now taking 20,000 people to the festival. Put your hands together for Josh Payne. Come on out. Yeah. Woo! What's up, man? Thanks what so much up? for having me. Super excited to be here. All right, so this is the body top. Three years of top ramen gets you, huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> losing weight by the second. So this is the body type. Three <laughs> years of top ramen gets you. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's falling off me faster than I can get. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I, I think it's really cool that you started your own company. I was wondering, could you walk us through what it is, what it does, and then we'll talk about it how you made it through the bootstrapping period. Absolutely. In a nutshell, we're a travel agency and we focus on and specialize large scale music events. And we do this all over the country. We have uh, clients and festivals from all the way from Wisconsin to Seattle to as far as Panama and India. And we handle everything from accommodation, transportation, airfare, tickets, uh, and, and we package it all together in a very VIP client to scale uh, type, of, type of service, in a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> okay, well so, you know, for, for all startups, I mean, they're so unlikely to work that the way that people get through it is they're super inspired. Is that something that 
you would say was the, the fuel behind your fire? 100%. I mean, from since I can remember, I've always been the one in my group of friends who has been the one coordinating logistically and organizing travel to, to various locations. Oh, yeah. We all got a friend like that. Yeah. And, and when I went to EDC 2010, uh, back when it was still in California, that was kind of when I had my like euphoric moment of like, you know, this is what I want to be involved in. This is what I want to do for forever, right? Right. Uh, you know, but... A lot of people, it's, it's not that easy to just start a business. So I had a full-time job, like many people do. And so what I did is I came home after 5 p.m. and I sat in my garage and I worked from 6 p.m. to midnight. And I built a website and I got a minimum viable product and I started selling my first trip. My first trip was EDC 2012. And that was the only trip that we did. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 took, we took only 100 people. You know, it was very small. It was like one bus, you know, a couple hotel rooms. And that's kind of where it started, you know? And then I kind of realized that people are, do want this thing. They want curated travel. They want to go out and they want to meet new people. Uh, and, you know, traveling to these events is more than just going to the event. It's the entire experience of leaving your house, uh, jumping in a car with people you don't know, jumping in a bus with people you don't know, staying in rooms with people you don't know, and, and basically just getting out of your shell and going out there and exploring life. Okay, so I was with you when you said you were hanging out in the garage. You yeah. Got, I got that part down. Now. I also know how to be broke. So you bootstrapped it for three three years? Absolutely. We bootstrapped it for three years. You got you know, those down. I, I worked another job to like pay the bills, but eventually, you know, the time constraints maybe choose one or the other. And then that's kind of when things got really real, you know. Um, every dollar that I would take out of the business takes away from the runway of the surviving of the business. And that's something that Right. The long, Obviously, the, like that anxiety can kind of yeah. So it goes back and forth. It's like, do like, I oh. really want you know this nice dinner, or do I want my business to succeed? And obviously, I don't want my business to succeed. So that would always be the the champion. Okay. That would always be the the primary well, uh, choice. I don't know. That's that's something everyone who's not ultra rich in the audience knows about. How do yeah. you do? You have any strategies? I mean, you've been doing that for a long time. Is there something we could all learn as entrepreneurs from you? Um, basically, don't spend money on things that you don't need. Obviously, <laughs> you know. <laughs> By a show of hands, anybody buy anything they didn't need this week? Ooh. Oh, I should have started like year, month, week, and then been like today. Yeah, and <laughs> another great thing that we did was we... Like this, like buying these glasses. <laughs> this is not a, a real smart purchase yet. <laughs> no, it's a great purchase. You're going gonna, gonna to love it this weekend. It's going right. to make... The return uh, on investment will be invaluable. Hope, you hope. don't even know. Can you sell dollar store items on eBay? Maybe you can. Maybe you, know? you can. Get them Maybe signed by somebody, then ROI Just like Chris, with Chris, You know, this is like Christmas. you got to start buying all this stuff right after EDC. Yeah, after actually, last year, and everyone's like, point. dude, never that's, going back to that thing again. I think we found our next business. Right. Bootstrap. <laughs> or we just buy up all the product? Buy up all the, that. Yeah. As they're coming out of EDC, we'll just buy it. <laughs> hey, five bucks for your I like hat. it. Very <laughs> seasonal. Um, okay, so, so I, I thought it was really cool. You uh, are offering everyone in the audience a chance to go to a very cool EDM business, or uh, EDM pool party. Yeah, so all of, our, all of our that. guests that stay with us um, at all of our festivals, we like to program at additional events. And this year in Las Vegas, our hometown, uh, we're doing an awesome pool party all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Golden Nugget Hideout Pool. And everyone in the audience gets free tickets. We're so yeah! excited yeah! to have you. Yeah! Yes. Gonna be, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great time. On Friday we have Bones and Wood Holly. It's like <laughs> Bones and Wood Holly? Yeah, it's dirty bass techno music. That's fun. I've been listening to that dirty bass <laughs> so long. On Saturday we have Kennedy Jones. It's gonna be an amazing time. So uh, please come out. Um, we're, you're, you're, all, you're all welcome. You're all, you're all my VIPs. You're all my VIPs. So we're really excited to have you. That's awesome. Okay, uh, so what's dirty bass? Dirty bass is a combination of, of dirty techno and then bass music. So it's it's a it's switching back and back back to forth between two DJs. So dirty means the subwoofer doesn't just like thump. It it like has a cracky it, broken it, sound, right? It cracks, it gets really low. It's more than just like the standard bass kick. It's like the entire melody is essentially in the bass. Mr. Nasty Tech! <laughs> okay. So can you demonstrate? Do you I can't go? Oh man, that's dirty. So Shut up. Dirty. Tell me that's not dirty. <laughs> that is definitely the dirtiest thing no. that will make it on TV no, this episode. God. All right. So, <laughs> that's a good thing. You got me. Okay, so um, not only does everybody get a free ticket, somebody with the best dress costume gets to meet a VIP I right hear. That's right. Kennedy Jones, one of the biggest trap artists. You're going to get a VIP meet and greet, mm. hang out in his artist cabana, go on stage with him. Whoever's the best dressed in this audience. All right, if you think you have the best, it, it, stand up if you even think you're in the, oh. Oh my God! 
Look at that! What is that? What is that? The biggest undress yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, he's rubbing it between his legs. Yeah. Oh. Holy cow, man. Oh. 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 Whoa. Is it on my head? Is it on my head? <laughs> okay. Dance off. Dance off. Right, come down to a dance off. <laughs> Dance up, <laughs> dance up, dance, dance up, up, dance up. Idea. Okay, okay. Okay, we are gonna put you right there. <laughs> All right, how noisy. What just happened? People. What just happened? This I don't even chaos. know. I don't even know. I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, audience, now we're gonna need you to make some noise. So make as much noise as you think the girls deserve for that dance. Three, two, one. Okay. Now, and you're gonna be the judge here, okay? So whoever's right. louder, you gotta decide who's louder. All right. So now make as much noise as our lovely gentleman here deserves. I'm sorry, but you guys lied. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, but. The, the intensity, the intensity. All right. <laughs> okay, now. All right, you're gonna be meeting the DJ Saturday afternoon. You get the, you get VIP tickets to meet yeah! the DJ. Yeah, yeah. All right, and one last time, give it up for Jack Payne, yeah! Unity Channel, Unity Thought Channel. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, yeah. Stay tuned after the break. We're coming back with a performance from We Are Pancakes. Give it up for the band. Have a nice time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pancakes. Hi there, it's something could not be nothing, I tend to blow it up So I won't get shipped up but to a no filthy Half a full cup Picture me leaning on top of the throw up But it's all talk All that talk So we can go and grow up And say let's not be kids today Stop with the moments that mean naturally Stop with the moments that mean naturally Talking big ships with full cups Cookies and mimosas No hablo me sosa Just give me some blow Up in sparks with no fingers Crazy no linger Sanity and cufflinks The warranty is gone up But it's all talk We can go and grow up and say, let's not be kids today.
Mr. Patrick Tucker on lead guitar, everybody. Awesome. Once again, let's give it up for We Are Pancakes. Check it out, Jose. So where did you get the name uh, We Are Pancakes? Well, funny you should mention it, Lenny. Okay. Um, I was half past drunk over at IHOP one night, and I was looking over here at the menu, seeing what type of flavory selection I could intake in my inebriated state. And so I look at the crepes and the waffles and all the sel selected materials, and it just didn't, wasn't sitting well for me. I thought it was all trash. And then I turn the page over, and I see this wonderful, delicious strawberry triple stack pancakes. It was such a good deal, I said, we are all pancakes. <laughs> and that's sense. how it happened. That's history. That was awesome. Where can we get, uh, find out more of your music? Well, you can look at us on Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram, and find us under We Are Pancakes. We are under that name, and we're also on YouTube. We Are Pancakes, all four sites. Thank you very much. podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night, 9 p.m. right here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us at the after party on the rooftop. Party with me at the after after party at Downtown Cocktail Room. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, at Downtown Podcast. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Peace, love, be kind to one another. We love you, Orlando. Yeah.